what every air traveler dreads, a bumpy flight. And some scientists believe that turbulence is only going to get worse in the coming years. Our chief meteorologist, Eric Fisher, explains what is happening in the skies above us and why this could increase the cost of a plane ticket. The friendly skies can get angry fast. When the wind speeds become strong in one place and weak in another, that difference between the strong and the, and the weak flow can become unstable. And what happens is the atmosphere reacts by breaking into turbulence and violent mixing is going on. That's the scientific definition of turbulence. Here's how passengers at Logan describe it. When you have the rough air on a flight like that, you kind of feel like, you know, your stomach's going to drop out from under you depending on how bad it is. I just close my eyes and pray so I don't actually see what's going on around me. <laughs> But we might have to get used to it. Some scientists believe increases in carbon dioxide are causing more volatility in the jet streams. Frank Colby is a professor of meteorology at UMass Lowell. You're going to get more difference in the wind speeds, and you're going to have a greater incidence of turbulence, stronger turbulence, more incidences of severe turbulence. The whole nose of the plane was down, and we were going down, and I honestly thought that was my last day on Earth. Stacy Iverson Huck was on United Flight 1676, Denver to Billings, Montana in February when the plane hit severe turbulence and started plummeting from 32,000 feet. One flight attendant was critically injured. It's bleeding pretty badly and they can't get it to stop. So they're requesting a medical attention at the gate. And take a look inside this Cathay Pacific plane after it finally landed in Hong Kong. More serious injuries just a day after the United incident. Quite a few people in front of me were thrown up from the seat. If you're really working hard to try to keep the, the, uh, the airplane uh, level. Steve Cunningham trains pilots at Nashua Flight Simulator and recreated a rocky flight for us. We're in severe turbulence, so the airplane is being bounced around. It's like being on a boat with, uh, in the waves. Pilots are accustomed to handling bumps, but it still presents problems, particularly because this type of turbulence, known as clear air turbulence, can't be detected. But it's very abrupt and sudden. You could drop 100 or 200 feet uh, in a matter of a second. So there's the discomfort, the anxiety that comes along with a rough ride. But travelers could also feel a change in their wallet. The result is probably going to be more expensive flights because the planes are either going to have to fly at, at less optimal elevations. If you fly lower, then you have more friction, and so your planes are less efficient, so you use more fuel. If you have to zigzag around the clear turbulence, it's a longer flight, it's more fuel. You start looking at this, and it all adds up. Ah, yes, we have all become familiar with the fuel surcharge in recent years. Now, Professor Colby told us that scientists are becoming more focused on this problem, and he believes forecasters will develop better ways to predict it. But in the meantime, just make sure you're buckled up. We've all made some friends with some nervous energy on a flight, I believe. And you've heard the pilot say, I'm going to try to find a smoother pocket while you're in flight. Right. That's why you always want to have your seatbelt on just no in question. case. Yeah. Mm -hmm.